Hi, this is Rich Coles from Productive Project Solutions. The purpose of this video is to give you an overview of using Smartsheet for projects and project management. So this is a tool which, when I first came across Smartsheet, I was bowled over by how it would radically change how I manage projects through its collaboration and the visibility and the time I'd spent previously as a project manager chasing for updates, whereas now with Smartsheet, you can have all that information at your fingertips and therefore what you spend your time doing is actually unblocking the challenges to move things forward rather than actually trying to find out the status of them. So let's have a look. So where I always start off when looking at so, um, the port portfolio and project management solution is actually a portfolio dashboard. And this is my headline view of what's the status of the various projects that are within my area. So. Again, I've created this portfolio dashboard and you can have as much or as little information on it as you want. So in this case, I've got various metrics in terms of the number of projects or how they're tracking the budget. And then you can add in the charts to the uh, dashboard to give it more of a visual look. And then below, below you add in the various information that is useful to you in terms of the projects. So at a glance, what is the status on each of these items? Um, so you can see which project, where they are, what's the various um, rag status and again you can look across here and see what are the various timings and a headline view for these. Again key risks, issues, milestones um, and various other areas that you can add in and on a dashboard there's so much information that you can add in to all these various areas here. So that's kind of at a, at a glance in terms of at a portfolio level. So I can then go into and click on this dashboard and go down to a project level. So here I've gone into Project Club Card, and again, I've set this out in a way that many businesses like to see the projects in terms of what's the description, summary status update, excuse the spelling, and the escalations and recent achievements, key next steps, key upcoming milestones, etc. key risks, issues, etc. etc. In this case, I've created a summary timeline, which gives the time plan at a more consolidated view, and I'll go into that time plan in a bit more detail. Tasks due this week, and the risks, issues, dependencies, task status, budget, etc., and then various shortcuts at the bottom, team, contact details, etc., etc. So, in this case, for example, I've got the shortcuts here, so I can go in and open a change request. And so, for this project, I can go in and launch a change request, which will go um, into central area for the changes requested on this project. So if I come back out of that in terms of the view, so, and I can also raise a new raid item. So if I want to raid a risk issue, assumption dependency on this bit, I can add that in. And again, this will go through and be consolidated within the project um, in that single view as well. So I'm gonna come out of the raid item. Again, I've got links down here so I can see my personal tasks on the project project charter, if I've got that linked up, and status summary updates. So if we just look here at the moment, the project is red and it says project team kicked off and assembled, but red following issues flagged. Just to give you a sense how quick and easy it is to update. In this case, the way I have my project set up is I have that as a separate sheet. In the summary, I'm going to change the RAG status to be yellow. I'm going to say this has been updated today. So add in today's date. So that's updated to be the sixth and project kicked off and team assembled so that's amber so but i'm going to change that to be amber but amber or yellow in smart sheet terms following an issue so if i now save this to here and i come back out you will see how the status has updated on this main sheet here already and it says assembled and amber on that piece and if I go back up one level more beyond this and go back up to the portfolio dashboard, you can see that up here on the portfolio dashboard, it's already updated to be Amber kicked off and team assembled, but Amber. So that shows you the speed of how a Smartsheet works in terms of the information when it's made down at the project level that immediately flows through through all the project assets and how they're all interconnected on that piece here. So. Again, you've got the portfolio view. We've got the view here. I can click onto the portfolio risks. And this goes into the 
overall summary of the various risks in terms of the projects. And I've got this set up here so I can see what are the key items and you can order these in terms of the way you see them. Um, you can group them by project as well. So if I want to group by um, project, so I'm going to group by sheet name, for example, I can change this and by sheet name, that will then tell me by the project. So here now we can see Bubble Loo Project, Club Card, Step Up, Zap. These are all now grouped together for the portfolio risks, so I can see them um, by that sort. Um, so if I then come back out and then go back in, so this is the portfolio view, many ways that to, to see it and changing it around. And if I dive back into Project um, Club Card in this case, so I'm just gonna go back to Club Card. If I dive in here and again, I've got the key risks and issues, I'll go into risk and issue um, management in a separate video. Let's go into the time plan. So here I've got a time, time plan called plan on a page. This now takes me to the full time plan in this case. And you can see with the Gantt chart at the side and the full visibility, I can um, come out of that. I can switch on the critical path. In this case, as you can see the critical path going down and the various status. So this status in this case is it's worked out by formula, looking at the information in terms of what's the percentage complete and is it overdue or not. If it's overdue, it marks it as red, if it's green, if it's um, on track um, in terms of where it is expected to be. So you can see as we come further down, tasks lower down, which are still in play. They are showing as green, whereas anything that is now overdue is late. So here I've got a column which enables me to set what's a key milestone. That therefore enables it to appear on my sheet for the reporting and the plan on the page. So I've added this little column here just to select which of the tasks I want to appear on that. So other great features in terms of Smartsheet and a project plan is that, so not only have you got the various tasks items here, you link it and then when you add in the person, then that will send emails to those individuals um, by tasks. So it's, it recognizes the various information for each individual as you go down um, on here and the allocation. So then we can put in notes and comments about that and that is captured and shared. You can also set a baseline. So in this case, the baseline, if I click on baseline, so the baseline is with five days ahead. I'm going to reset the baseline and that will change and match the end dates. So the baseline has been reset. And again, if I was to now push out a date, for example, and change something lower down the plan to say this is now going to be four weeks, what you can see is down below the impact of that is you can see the dates where they previously were set and they have now moved out as well. So other great features to highlight in terms of um, what you're able to do from a collaboration perspective is on the plan. So this is where you can add in items. So for example, here we're gonna add in a project charter. So in this case, for example, I'm gonna attach a project charter to here. So what you can do is you can just drag and drop items in. So in this case, I'm gonna drag in a charter template and that has been added to here, but that could be the completed document here. Um, you can add in separate items. So let's just say, um, design on this one I'm going to drop in um, a visual so here again I'm going to just drop in a visual and what you can do is see various the task the attachments are immediately available on the time plan going forward again great thing here is you can add in comments as well so you can ensure that the conversation happens in the context of your work, just as the Smartsheet tells you. So I can now put a note in here and say, at Rich Coles, at Rich Coles, um, please ensure completed on time. So you can add in commentary on this way, then that comment will go to Rich Coles and that information, there'll be no, he'll receive a notification and they can reply and all the conversations within the context of your work can be stay here within the sheet um, on that side. Again, there's proofing capabilities that you can do within the time, pl um, time plan. So it's not gonna update. If I just go back to the visual, um, for example, for design POC, in this case, let me just add in a 
a proof in the same token. And I've done that as a separate video. In fact, so I won't dive into that detail, but again, you can do proofing within your time plan as well. And like that stays within your overall view. Um, and so this way then within your project plan, you've got all the various information that you can start seeing and the information that you change and update. Then if I just go back up a level, so I go to properties, gonna go up to project management, so club card, so I'm gonna save. Here then I can go into my folder and I've got all the various assets that I use for my project. So I've got my dashboard as you've already seen, project charter. Um, I've got the summary status log, which I've updated. You have your red actions log. So all the various assets that you feel are needed for your project and your methodology within your business, your budget sheets, etc. All these items can be linked together. And what's so powerful again within Smartsheet is you set up the projects at a level, um, at this level here. And then what you do is you configure it so that all those projects then feed up into your portfolio view. And that's why here within the portfolio view, and then you've got the various items down below. So again, a whistle stop tour really to show you some of the attributes that you can have within Smartsheet for uh, project and portfolio management. Um, from my perspective, as someone who's been managing projects within businesses for over 20 years, I find this incredibly powerful and it's completely changed how I manage projects and programs um, in the fact that you're able to get the updates directly into the task here and the conversations I now have with people is about how to unblock progress rather than actually asking what the latest status is and having to go into my email and update plans etc on that side so incredibly powerful and trust that's been useful I'll explore this in more videos in more depth so thanks for watching and more videos to follow on project management bye for now